Welcome back to the second part in a three-part vlog series on strengths. Last time we talked about the question, are you able to bring your strengths to work every day? And the people around you, do they bring theirs? And I shared with you that there are three ways people can choose to bring their strengths. They can either conform and try to match their strengths externally. They can try to keep it, their energy within, which is to conceal their strengths, or they can cultivate it. But this week we're going to focus on what is the impact of all of those options and perhaps more importantly at our initial journey, how do you know if somebody is cultivating versus concealing or conforming? Again, if you're a leader, if you are a peer who's really invested in your team, if you own your business, you're going to want to look for these signs because there's a recipe here. The early signs means that you can do something about it. But you know when you get far enough along when you're trying to cook a beautiful dish, if you just have the wrong ingredients together, there's no salvaging it. I'm hoping that there's lots that you can salvage if people are showing some of the early signs that they're not leveraging their strengths. So what are they? Conforming. When people are conforming to others' expectations, they are showing the first signs of burnout. You'll know because they're busy checking with other people if they're making progress, if they're performing. They may be staying late. They may be having to redo work. And in the end, they're going to just exhaust themselves. And people who burn out sometimes end up going on sick or stress leave when that gets to the extreme. So that's the thing you need to look for, the early signs of burnout before we have the down the road signs that somebody just can't deal with it anymore. The next thing is concealing. How do we know if somebody's concealing it? Well, they're disengaged. They're perhaps not speaking up in meetings. Maybe they're not meeting their deadline. That perhaps even you know that there's brilliance there. You hire them for a particular talent or skill and yet you're not seeing it. Why? That's the most important question to ask yourself. And you know what happens with people who are disengaged? They have two options really. And both involve leaving. They can leave in terms of their presence and that's called presenteeism. So they're going to show up in body but they won't be there in spirit or they can physically leave. And given that we're in a talent shortage that shows no signs of easing until 2030, I don't think you want to risk either of those things, right? Cultivate. How do you know when somebody is truly cultivating their strengths? When they're looking externally for opportunities to grow and match what's expected, and they're also really good with what they bring to the table. These are the people who are probably shining. They're innovating. They're the ones that customers say, wow, I want that person serving me next time. Depending on your industry, it may look a little different, but anything that is considered high performance, I bet you those people are cultivating their strengths. So here's one more tip for you. Take a look at what those folks who are shining, what they're doing. Ask them, why are you happy where you work? What strengths are you bringing and how are we enabling that to happen? Learn from where success is happening because this formula to be able to work this recipe well of strengths, it's not only being mindful of the early signs that somebody is not using their strengths, but it's also looking at the signs when somebody is and what is allowing for that recipe to be a success. My name is Sarah McDaniel. I'm so glad that you chose to tune into this vlog again. I invite you to jump into our newsletter and our, our subscription here to YouTube so that you can continue to get these videos because I'm really here to serve you. In the meantime, be well and be great.